I am pleased to welcome Jane Giambroni, who is a diabetes nurse care manager with Rochester Regional Health to the program. Jane, thank you for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, this time of year with Thanksgiving right around the corner and the holiday season ushering in, lots of folks are going to be eating and, and eating a lot of the things that will give them diabetes. And that's our topic today. Okay. Let's begin with diabetes itself. Why do so many Americans suffer from diabetes or pre, even pre-diabetes? Well, in our world today, we're not as active as we norm normally are. I, um, I remember when I was a kid, years ago, we used to get up and turn the channel, and now we don't. So that's part of it. Um, we don't exercise. We don't get out there. And, the, and obviously eating factors into that as well. It sure does. As I referenced off the top. Yep, eating is very important. I read this um, book by Michael Pollan, Food Rules. It says, don't drink your calories. And so that means don't drink anything with that soda that has calories in it, sugar in it. Drink water, it's the best choice. When we say someone is suffering from diabetes, what's happening to the body? If somebody has diabetes, they're at risk for heart disease. That's a number one complication of diabetes. Also, somebody is at risk for a stroke, kidney disease, eye disease, lots of different things. So if we could get to the point where we prevent diabetes, which is possible, mm -hmm. that is going to help. What steps can we take individually to try to prevent diabetes and make healthy lifestyle choices? I would say three things. Number one, um, get out and be active. And it doesn't mean that um, you have to go to the gym or anything like that. It could be something as easy as taking a walk. And number two, nutrition. Make sure you get your fruits and vegetables. We've all heard that. Yep. And number three is obesity. It's very important to get the weight down. Now, some people who are very heavy will think, oh, I don't want to, you know, I have so much weight to lose. Studies have shown even if you lose 5 to 10 percent of your weight, say, for example, you're 200 pounds, you lose anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds, it's going to make a big difference. Hmm. And this, losing weight can help prevent diabetes, type 2. You've got a program starting up in January. Yes, we do. Uh, that you've done before successfully. Tell us about this. Okay, it's called the Diabetes Prevention Program, and it's at Rochester Regional Health at Unity. And what it's basically, it focuses on lifestyle changes, how to eat healthy and exercise. We've had um, people with prediabetes, so somebody who has prediabetes, Mm -hmm. they need to qualify, can participate in this program which starts in January and no cost to them if they do qualify. Well, Jan, we certainly appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Uh, and your insight on diabetes and the steps we can take to try to prevent that disease. That's key. Lots more information about that program. You can register or get more information by calling 585-368-6542 or go online at rochesterregional.org. That information will be shared on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.